So I got a lot of requests asking how to make coloring. I just wanna let you guys know that colorings are not my strong suit. It's not that I can't do them. It's not that I haven't ever made colorings before. It's just up until a few weeks ago, I would just use other people's colorings. I don't know, I'm just kind of tired of doing that. It's nothing wrong with using other people's colorings as long as you're crediting them. But you know, as editors, we tend to rely on other sources a lot. So we'll buy people's preset packs, people's Twixter packs, people's whatever packs. Nothing wrong if you get credit and you're actually doing other components of the edit but I just think it's important for us to practice and try new things. And the only way to get better at something is to practice. So I recently been using this coloring for my edits that I made. We're gonna remake that today. I'm gonna be explaining. It's very hard to tell you like how to make a coloring. So I'm just gonna use a coloring that I make. I've also made a coloring video before on how to do the very basic bright quality colorings that people always use on tiktok so you should go look at that video but if you decide that you don't even want anything to do with coloring you don't want to make colorings that's fine i am selling a quality coloring pack it comes with four and i'm also selling this coloring that we're kind of recreating today so what i want to start off with is not magic bullet looks yet so i like to start off with other effects first so i looked up brightness and contrast so brightness we're gonna do 32 and for contrast i'm gonna do 52. i like even numbers i mean these aren't even even numbers i don't know i don't know what i like and then we're gonna do looks so oh i forgot to pre-compose so the first things first is i'm gonna start off with hue and saturation so sometimes a hue and saturation you know obviously makes colors pop out more or I can degrade the colors more what I like to do is I like to put my saturation between I mean it depends what I'm doing but for this one I'm gonna do around 80 and you can put it towards certain colors to change some of like the brightness aspects I haven't really fully learned that yet but for now I'm just gonna put put it to where I want which is 81 and then I'm gonna go to curves and for curves um Really curves is a learning experience. I can't quite explain to you because I barely know what I'm doing, but you know, just know that for curves, whenever you place a point down, moving it up will cause the clip to brighten and moving it down will cause it to go darker. And I believe that's the case for anywhere you put it. But for this coloring, I kind of just put it between the center and the bottom. So this a little bit, and then I'm gonna take it down a little bit because I like for it to have like darkness to it and you know what I mean <laughs> and then I did film print so and so I left the film stock at this exactly so Kodak 2383 now what I did is I just turned the strength down a little bit film print is basically a coloring in its own you know and so I just turned it down to where I wanted it to be be so now let's go to diffusion so for diffusion i'm just gonna up the glow to 58 because we're also gonna add a different glow what am i doing this is 78 because we're also gonna add a different glow this isn't typically like the amount of glow i would do personally i like a lot of glowiness in my colorings but for this one it's kind of like minimalistic for the diffusion because we add bcc i think it's film glow we'll see after this so yeah, ah, it's fast film gloves. So, so you obviously need the BCC plugin. But if you're having trouble and you really need guidance, I suggest you go to this tutorial account. This is where I downloaded my Magic Bullet Looks plugin and it worked. They are amazing. I'm just gonna turn it to around 12. And for the sharpen, your sharpen settings, basically what's gonna make it really good quality or really bad quality, um, is totally completely up to you. I have a video on sharpening and and I did all the different types of sharpen, or at least the popular ones. And um, it'll help you decide what route of sharpen you wanna go because I do genuinely believe, you know, depending on the sharpen that you use, it can make the edit look a little different. If you don't want a bunch of sharpen, I would just use regular sharpen, put it at 62. That may seem like a lot, but honestly, it's not that much compared to what other people do. And if you have Topaz, you can run it through there even better. I don't have Topaz because I'm too scared to download it because the links look very scary everybody's using to download it for free so yeah that is how i do this coloring i could do a video where i just go through the effects if you know that's helpful making colorings is really just about stacking effects um, and not using too much of one thing it's something you really have to experiment with another way to learn colorings is just to get someone else's coloring and see what they used and how they made it and kind of just like it sounds really bad but honestly i swear to you that's pretty much what 90 percent of editors do use it for learning resources 